Good morning, Velvet Hammer Mommies. Today I have a prenatal strength and cardio workout for you. So what that's gonna look like is seven different circuits, three different exercises per circuit. You're gonna have two strength exercises and one cardio exercise. So it should be about 21 rounds. We're gonna be working for 45 seconds and taking a 15 second rest. So what I need you to do before you get started with this workout is make sure you have an okay from your doctor and that you're healthy enough to exercise. If you're new, just do, new to working out at all, just do half this workout. Um, the second thing I need you to do is drink lots of water. And the third thing I need you to do is really check in with yourself during this workout. Make sure that you can talk, get enough breath to talk throughout the whole thing, and that if on a scale from one to 10, uh, one being you're not working very hard and 10 being you're working the hardest you possibly can, Let's stay around a, a five, a six, no more than a seven, because you don't want to be not putting any effort forth, but you also don't want to be totally gassed out. So we're going to be working hard. We are going to be able to get our breath for this whole workout. So um, grab your water, a towel, some free weights, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, guys, let's get started with your warm-up. All right, we are going to start with just Two low side steps to just loosen up our quads here. So you may want to start with just shallow movements, and as you get warmed up, you can take them lower. We'll be doing a lot of squatting and lunging today, so we want to make sure that our legs are stretched out and warmed up. You can always add a little arms in here just to warm up your upper body too. Really good way to warm up your back. Okay, we are going to go into a shallow squat. So make sure to keep your abs contracted, your core strong. You're going to sit your weight in your heels, push your butt back, and make sure you can look at where the ceiling meets the wall to make sure to keep your upper body up straight. We're going to do a few more of these, and then we're going to turn our feet out wide. So we're going to be in plie position. We're going to do a few more squats. We're going to be doing some plie squats today. This will be good to loosen up your legs for that. Plie squats are wonderful for your inner thighs. Now, we're going to do some low impact butt kickers right now. You can do these high impact too. This is just a great way to warm up your hamstrings. And you can even, if you want to make this high impact, you could do two kicks and hop. Two kicks and hop. Or you can just keep it. Low. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> Which is funny because when I was pregnant, I always felt like I had um, <laughs> to sneeze or I had a little bit of drainage in my nose. I felt like I was always sniffling. All right, now we're going to do some low and back jacks. So step out wide. So do just a traditional jumping jack here. Whatever you feel like. I always want to remind, 
especially my seasoned exercisers, that when they're pregnant, you know, your goals have to change. It's not the time where you have to be able to climb a mountain, though sometimes even climbing the stairs feels like climbing a mountain. <laughs> Let's end up with sumos here. Squat, kick. But it is a time where you want to be healthy, but your goals need to switch from being <laughs> some sort of a fitness beast to being a healthy mom who is going to deliver a healthy baby. So our goals just really have to get reset during pregnancy and it's just so important that we love and nurture our body during this period and not push it too hard but definitely exercise helps with everything concerning pregnancy, labor and delivery, just overall mood and well-being, all of it. All right, we are ready to get started with our workout. Let me get my timer set up. Okay guys, let's get started with your workout. Our first exercise is going to be a reverse lunge with a glute lift. Now, you can carry your weight here, like this, if you're comfortable with that, and do a reverse lunge on the left, glute lift on the right. Sink down, glute lift. Sink down, glute lift. Sink down, glute lift. Sink down, glute lift. Now, if you're more comfortable having two weights and putting them to the side away from your belly, by all means, glute lift. Sink down, glute lift. Good posture is very important here. It's very easy to sink over. We're going to keep our shoulders back here. Lift and squeeze. Find your spot to look up to keep your butt upper body up. All right. I'm going to drink of water. We're going to do the same exercise on the other leg. Okay, so we're going to sink back on our right leg, squeeze, sink back, squeeze, sink back, squeeze, sink back, squeeze. Now the deeper you go in the lunge, the harder it's going to be, and the more Gonna work your legs. Chest up. Find a spot on the wall for stability. And you can always hold on to a couch or a chair to help with balance. Great job. All right. Our first cardio exercise is a Tina Turner otherwise known as a forward and backward quick step. So, as fast as you can, you're gonna step up and back. This is really good for your calves. We've been working our quads and hamstrings a lot with those moves we just did. Now we're working those same muscles again but you're really going to feel this in your calves. 18 seconds. Sometimes if I do this long enough, <laughs> my feet get mixed up. That's okay. Just reset. Start again. Do a little Tina Turner hands. Yep. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Get your towel and a drink. Got five seconds, and we're going to start um, with a squat and press. So we're going to squat with one weight in hand, press, squat, press, squat. Keep that back straight, press.
press, squat, press. This is really a squat curl and press. Press, really control those weights. Use a weight that you know you can control, that you're not swinging around. You don't want to obviously be careful around your abdomen. Breathe. Let your exhale help you squat and press. Good job. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then our cardio interval will be in and out fast feet. Not forward and back, but in and out, okay? So we're going to squat. Again, you can always hold on to a piece of furniture that's sturdy. If you feel off balance, press. Keep your core tight, sink into your heels, look at that spot where the ceiling meets the wall to make sure your upper body is where it should be. One more thing, <laughs> squeeze as you come up, squeeze those glutes, control your arm, very important. All right, in and out fast feet. Same deal here. Tina Turner style exercise. And this time, you'll really be feeling it in your calves. Do as fast as you can. It's like about 30 seconds. A really good agility move because all mamas, <laughs> once they have these little guys and they're moving around, need to be agile. You will be chasing them <laughs> for a long time. Five seconds. Hang with me. You're doing great. Make sure you can talk. Good job. After every seven exercises, we're going to take a 30 second break. All right, now we have plie squat. I would recommend for this move, if you use weights, to rest them right on your hips. We're going to turn the toes out. We're going to squeeze as we come up. We remember to keep our shoulders back, chests up. Remember to keep smiling. Exercise is so good for your mood, for your emotional well-being, any time in your life. But pregnancy deals with some tricky cards when it comes to emotions. So it is even more important that we have this resource during pregnancy. Good job. All right. Now it's time for our 30 second break. So get some water, rest, relax. I'm going to demo our next exercise. This is something that was new to me. I didn't do this one during pregnancy, but it's a good one. You're going to come up to the wall and first you're going to keep your back straight and then you're going to tilt that pelvis away from the wall. You've got 10 more seconds before this starts. And then, as you exhale, you're going to put it back to a straight back against the wall. Okay, let's get started. So inhale, tuck that pelvis, contract your abs, exhale, straighten it out. Inhale, smaller the back on the wall, exhale, back. Great one for your abs. Tilt the pelvis forward, relax. Pelvis forward, breathe in, tilt it back, relax, forward, back, relax. And then the front, you're going to this way, tilt it forward, breathe in, back, relax, 
forward, breathe in, right, it's great for your abs, it's great for your, uh, your pelvis, pelvic, any pelvic floor issues. Um, the next exercise is going to be a low side step with a tap and a reach. Now you can use your weights here on your shoulders, so step and reach, low side step, step and reach, low side step, step and reach, low side step, step and reach, step and reach, really keep your posture good, weight in the heels. The reason it's so important to do those pelvic floor exercises, or the pelvic tilt exercises, excuse me, is because you really need a strong pelvis, not only for labor and delivery, but for posture as your stomach grows, it's going to help strengthen your abs for better recovery after pregnancy, and you're going to have better posture and the reduction of back pain during pregnancy. So there's just a ton of benefits. You can actually do that work for that exercise. Oh, now we're going to do wall push-ups. So you're going to come to the wall just like you do a regular push-up, and you're going to push up against the wall. You can do narrow arms here. The further you step out, the harder it's going to be. We're just going to push. Really keep your core strong. Keep your neck neutral. Try to hit your nose on the wall. If you ever get off balance or dizzy, stop the exercise, of course. So those pelvic wall tilts, you can actually do several times a day um, for about five minutes, just intermittently, um, a couple times a day. They really help to strengthen that whole area. And as we talked about, the benefits are numerous. So now we're going to get into chair pose and we're going to do some bent over rows, okay? You're going to lean over, okay? So bend your knees, lean forward. Now you're going to pull your shoulder blades back together. It's also a good one for posture. A lot of times we work our chest with these push-ups or different exercises, but we don't take care of our back because we can't see it. <laughs> but your back is so important for posture and core stability, especially when you've got a little extra to carry around there in the front. Five seconds. Good job. If that's ever too much, you can always halfway through, do it with one arm, holding on to something halfway through, change to the other side. Okay. Now we're going to do a squat with two pulses. I'm going to hold my weight up here. So we're going to squat once, two pulses. Squat, two pulses. Squat, two pulses. Squat, two pulses. You should already feel those endorphins start to flow, those feel-good chemicals that help us I love exercise. I think I just messed up. <laughs> Get as low as you can with good form. One, two pulses. Keep your back up straight. Two pulses. Great job. Grab some water. All right. Now we're going to do a squat with a front raise. Really control it. If this makes you nervous, swinging the weight anywhere near your abdomen or lifting the weight, you can always just go into a one arm press. You're still working your deltoids. Just a different movement. 15 more seconds. Just gonna wanna lift up to your shoulder and down. Always make sure 
you can breathe and talk to me or talk to whoever. You might be wanting to say your bowling words to me if it's too hard for you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're going to squat with that weight. One arm raise. One arm raise. Now, as you get comfortable with the move, you can speed up. But I want you to focus on form. So don't go any faster or lift any heavier than you can control. Okay? Again, you have the option of coming here. Twelve more seconds. I'm sweating good. Hope you are. <laughs> Thirty seconds rest. <laughs> That's not the most hospitable sound. Sorry about that. Just getting used to a new timer system, which is great because it does. You can program in very complex intervals and changes of times and warm up and cool down, which helps me to not have to stop the video as much. <laughs> However, some of the subtleties of it I haven't quite gotten used to yet. All right, now we're going to do. A revolves, reverse lunge pulse. So we're gonna pulse here, switch, pulse here, switch, pulse here, switch. Get started, switch, 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 get low. Try not to bang your knee on the ground. Get nice and low. Always stay back in the heels. You don't want your knee to go over your toe. Switch. You can always change to a switch lunge too if you're comfortable. Just make sure you have your balance. Okay? Apparently I don't this morning. <laughs> always use a couch or a chair if you need balance with this one. This is a good one to do that with because you've got plenty of opportunity to stick your arm out there. All right. You can also do that one with weights. That would be a great one to do with weights. Let me switch my board around if I can see what's next. All right, the next we're gonna do our hammer curls with a standard curl. So you're going to keep your palms facing each other for the hammer curl and then facing out with a standard curl and switch back. Really keep your core tight. If you find you're leaning back, take one leg back, and that will help correct your posture. Ten more seconds. Great job. Keep breathing. Curls are always hard for me, no matter how many I do, it seems like. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is a little bit different um, exercise for triceps. Now you're going to come into a chair pose, bend your knees, lean forward, and then you're going to press your triceps back behind you with a straight arm. You're going to try to keep them from going any further than your hip. And this looks like an easy move, but it is not. <laughs> we'll probably both have to shake it out before. This is all said and done. Make sure your posture is good. Sink down into the move. 15 seconds. Take it out. <laughs> Get back into position. This is a toughie. Five seconds. You can do it, mamas. And done. All right. All right, we're going to do two st low steps, squat and punch. All right, so two low steps, two squat and punch. You can do this with no weights. Keep them here. Let 
you turn the weights as you punch. It's a good exercise for your rear deltoids, your shoulder muscles. Really sink it. We're not doing a lot of jumping. So to intensify the move, really use those big, big muscle groups. All right, five seconds. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge on the left. So, curtsy. Keep your upper body facing forward. Plant the foot. I'm gonna kind of turn here. Good job. Up, curtsy. Up, great one for inner thighs, outer thighs. You can add a kick if you want. Okay. I would recommend holding on if you do that. And definitely putting your weight here at the hip. If you like just a regular curtsy, that's good too. Five seconds. And we keep your back up straight. Good job. Those are tough, especially isolating the one leg. One thing you want to remember is though your upper body or though your lower body is twisting, you always want to keep your upper body facing forward. Same thing on the right. Okay, plant the foot. And we are one away from the end. That's awesome. Keep that chest facing forward. It's super hard to... Ten seconds. Kind of hard to keep your body from twisting. That's part of the point of this move. You get kind of some secret ab work in there. Get some water. Next, we're going to lunge to the side. So, deep lunge. You can even do a narrow squat in the middle. Lunge. If you don't want to do the narrow squat, you can just step it out. You can use weights here. It's your last interval. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I have, it's been challenging. You can always modify when it's not challenging enough for you or a little too much. Just make sure with any workout, you always stay hydrated and you keep in mind, okay, I wanna be at a five, six, or seven and I need to be able to talk. Awesome. Okay, if you need extra time, that's fine, but if not, let's go into our cool down. All right, so the first move we're gonna do, we're gonna put our hands on our knees, squat down. We're gonna exhale as we round our back up. Inhale as we arch it. Sometimes I face my fingers toward each other. Helps me get a better back stretch. And helps you open up your back even more. Now from here, open up your legs a little wider. We're gonna sink down. Rest your elbows here in your knee, and just twist. Try to look up toward the ceiling, push into that knee, which opens up your hip. All right, slowly walk the feet, heel, toe, heel, toe, in, and roll up very slowly. All right. <laughs> Now we are going to do a flamingo stretch, which is just a quad stretch. I would recommend holding onto a chair or your couch. 
You're going to grab your toe. You're going to relax your quad, even though it's going to want to straighten and tighten up on you. Relax it, shove your hip forward. Either put a hand out for balance or hang on to a chair. Holding it here. All right. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Yeah. Remember to hold on if you need to. I'm going to really relax that left leg now. Shove your hip forward. Hand out. Or holding on. Try to get your breath here. All right, we're going to step down from that, step our legs out wide, and we're going to go from left to right. Now, if you can't get that far, you're just going to hang here. Okay, we're just going to loosen up those hamstrings and glutes again. Okay. Touch those toes if you can. Okay. And then we're going to take it forward and do more of a static hamstring stretch. Now if this is difficult for you, you're going to want to go here to a couch or something like that, hang on, and then just really push through, push your hips back and get your hamstring stretched this way. You know, with a bigger tummy, it's hard to bend over like that. It may cause you to feel a little bit dizzy. So let's do that. Let's go to the right. switch. Let's go to the left. Switch. If you're able, you can rock the baby here just to further loosen up those hamstrings. walk our feet in. Now what I want you to do is lace your fingers forward. We're going to open up that back here. Lean forward. Inhale. Stretch up. Look up. Exhale down. Now we're going to bend over. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then we're going to just circle our necks. Relax your neck. Try to loosen it up here. Make circles. Don't Activity push it completed. Further than it needs to go. Let's do one more neck circle. And. Great job, guys. That was a challenging workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you feed you and your baby with healthy, healthy things today. Um, you're going to want to get a really good post-workout meal on your plate within a half an hour to an hour from now. Um, make sure your blood sugar levels are back up and that you're filling your body with healthy fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. You want to make sure that you keep hydrated today. Um, if you need more stretching, by all means, go ahead and do some more. Um, but just be kind to your body today. Do good things for you and that little one. Um, try to stay positive and just make good, healthy choices all day long. And I would encourage you to be an encouragement to other moms, especially moms who are different than you. You know, we all have a different set of circumstances, and I sometimes feel like um, we have to compete with each other or we think we have to kind of justify what we do by putting someone else down. And more than ever at this time in your life, when you're a new mom, um, either a veteran mom or a rookie mom, you need to support other moms and tell them that you're here for them and, and encourage them in any way you can because we're all trying to do the best for our children and we all have different ways of going about it. And there's really 
no instruction book for these little guys. There are lots of different ways that little people can turn into wonderful big people. So let's try to be kind to ourselves, our bodies, and other moms who are just trying as hard as we are and who need all the help and encouragement they can get. So for all you mommy hammers out there, great job today. And remember, keep you and your baby healthy because it's your health and your babies. Hit it hard. Boom.